You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. Welcome back to The Splash. I'm Jonathan Jackson, and my guest on the show this week is Greg Kelser, also known as Special K. He's a former Michigan State Spartan and Detroit Piston who now commentates their games on Fox Sports Detroit. Greg, thank you for being here, sir. Jonathan, it's a pleasure. It's great to have you. I mean, you're a local guy. You're a face we see often on Fox Sports Detroit, but now you're, um, you know, in our community. And uh, can you tell us a little bit, though, about your history in basketball, where you started off? Well, uh, you know, I grew up in the military. So uh, when my father retired from the Air Force after 20 years, he, being from Detroit, always said we would settle in Detroit. I was hoping that we'd go somewhere a little warmer. <laughs> but I'm glad that we settled in Detroit. It's home. I, I definitely consider myself a Detroiter. I went to Detroit Henry Ford High School from there to Michigan State University. And then I played with the Detroit Pistons. So it has all gone in order. Yeah, Thank definitely. goodness for Detroit. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Hometown guy. I love it, you know. Yeah. And playing for the Spartans, correct? And you were called Special K because you were one of their best players, I got to say, at the time, right? Was it 1979? Well, 1979. I got there in 75. 75. Uh, one of the promises... Uh, made to me when I was being recruited by Michigan State was that if I would come and then we'd sign some other players, most notably Irvin Magic Johnson and Jay Benson a couple of years later, that we'd have a chance to win a national championship by the time I graduated. And that came to fruition. Yeah. yeah that, 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 was a, that was a promise kept. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's good, though, to, to have that under your belt. And definitely to, after you know, winning that, going on into your career and professional, you know, with Detroit, and then eventually you moved uh, to Seattle, correct? Right, I was traded to Seattle. I was, ah, <laughs> I was yeah. shipped off to Seattle. Sent off for a bit. But, uh, you know, I had a great uh, couple of years with the Pistons. Um, had a really nice, good rookie year, which allowed me to, to uh, gain confidence and, and understand and believe that I could be an NBA player and a very good one. And, um, and the same thing at Seattle. Seattle was the better team at the time. Uh, Seattle was coming off of an NBA championship just two, two years removed when I got there. So uh, it gave me an opportunity to really experience winning and that sort of uh, success at the highest level of basketball. So from Detroit to Seattle, and then I played a couple of years with the uh, Clippers as well. All right. Now, after the Clippers, though, you started to you know, settle down. You said you wanted to try sports broadcasting, right? Well, you know what? I knew what I wanted to do early on. Um, I made my mind up coming out of college that I wanted to, to work in broadcasting. So I began to set the, the framework for that early on while I was still playing. And that was a great advantage for me, knowing what I wanted to do. And it was just a matter of uh, me stretching my, my pro professional basketball career out as, much as, as long as I could. Unfortunately, uh, a knee injury uh, sort of sidelined me and uh, ushered me into the broadcast booth a little earlier than I wanted, yeah. but I was prepared for the transition. You know, I had great leadership starting at home with my parents and, and then, of course, great teachers, great coaches who all preached uh, about that, that, that second option, you know, that safety net, the thing that you would do in case your sport, your uh, sporting career was, was to be uh, cut short. Yeah, it's always good to have that backup just in case. But you had a talent for it, obviously, and now you're at Fox Sports Detroit where you're uh, doing mostly the Pistons games, but you also do some Big Ten commentary, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, I do college basketball. I've been doing college basketball and professional basketball since 1986. Okay. Uh, so, long, long time. <laughs> uh, not long as my broadcast partner with the Pistons, though, George Blaha. He's got me by 10 years. He's going into his 42nd year. I'm going into my 32nd or 33rd year. I feel very fortunate to be able to do this and to have enjoyed the longevity because it's a very um, uh, crowded field, uh, competition, stiff for positions, but you know, I've been very fortunate again to have great leadership and people who believe in me, so I've been able to enjoy some staying power in a very competitive field. Well, the good thing is you and George make such a good team. You guys have a great dynamic with each other, and always watching the games with the both of you is exciting. I think, though, and lately the Pistons have been, you know, on the edge of, you know, greatness. We, we, we're always, you know, we're not making it right now, but what are your thoughts for next year? What are you hoping well, to see? Well, we've, we've teased fans. I mean, last year we made the playoffs. We thought we were going to, you know, be a cinch for the playoffs this yeah. year, looking forward to maybe even getting to the second round or beyond. But uh, took a couple of steps backwards, unfortunately. Some yeah. injuries and just inconsistency throughout the year plagued the group. And, uh, and now, you know, you start again with the goal of getting to the playoffs. But this team is good enough to get to the playoffs. There's no doubt in my mind about that. There's a lot of excitement around the team now. Yeah. Uh, a lot of it associated with the move back downtown for the Pistons, the first time since 1978 playing in the city of Detroit uh, on, a, on a consistent basis. So, uh, you know, all of these things with renewed hope and obviously um, yeah. 
a, a, a better attitude and everything, I think we'll be just fine. Excited for the finals this year, though. Uh, again, it's Cleveland and Golden State. I Third mean, that, that seems to be the, yeah. the the dynamic so far. You know, are do you have a team you're going for though? Well, you know what, I I, I just <laughs> I wanted to go seven games or six or seven games. I don't have. Uh, a, a choice or a pick. Uh, I think it's going to be a very good series. It's the rubber match. You know, both yeah. have beaten the other uh, once now, yeah. so this will, I it's guess, settle that. That's high break. Uh, but I hope everybody stays healthy. I hope there are no uh, unfortunate circumstances, uh, suspensions, or anything like that that can that can cast a, a shadow or a pall on the on the competition. I hope everybody is able to be available for the duration, and then we'll just see. The best team will win. That's right. We will definitely. Mm -hmm. Now, I think another good thing about you, Greg, is the fact that you're also giving back to your community. You know, you've had a great career, but you also want to help out young kids who right. are maybe want to, you know, one day become the next LeBron James or the next, you know, Steph Curry. And you have, you're doing that through a basketball camp, and it's coming here to West Bloomfield, correct? Right. I have several basketball camps that we run every year in different parts of the community, the metropolitan Detroit area, but one of our camps is at West Bloomfield High School. We'll have boys and girls ages 7 to 17 the week of August 7 through 11, okay. uh, 9 to 3 each day. It's a great basketball camp, and the thing that we like to emphasize is that it's not just basketball. I decided a long time ago that, you know, when we have an opportunity to, to be impactful in the lives of young people, we're going to make sure that they understand sports are great, but sports are a privilege. Mm -hmm. Your education is essential. So we mix the two. We marry them, and we, we demonstrate to them every single day how sports, how academics, and athletics can coexist, must coexist. Uh, I'm living proof of that because I had sports at the highest level, but it didn't last forever. I'm doing what I'm able to do right now and, and continue to find success because of my education. I make no qualms about that. So that's what we do with the boys and girls. You know, my very first camp yeah. that I ever ran in 1978, I was around your age. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, yep. I was still in college, but my very first camp was here in West Bloomfield at the Jewish Community Center on Maple. Uh, five years there. Uh, took a little hiatus when I went to Seattle, but when I got back, um, I was running my camp pretty much in Southfield uh, in, in Detroit. But people said, hey, why don't you stretch it out, you know, make it available to all the communities. So about seven or eight years ago, we came back to West Bloomfield, and we've been here ever since. And we love having it at the high school. They do a tremendous job with that facility, and we're fortunate to be there. We are. I have to agree. I mean, West Bloomfield is glad to have you and glad to have so many students involved because this is great. You know, like you said, academics is important and also athletics, but you're combining the two. And Absolutely. Now they have a Every great, day. Yeah, you know, a great way to, you know, use that during the summer. So mm -hmm. it's very important. Uh, and yeah. parents appreciate it, too. And uh, we're hopeful that we can, you know, we've, we've had some very good camps at West Bloomfield High School. We try and limit it to like the first 100 mm -hmm. uh, that sign up. Uh, we've gone over a couple of times, but not by much. 100 gives us an opportunity to fully address everybody and have room and space to accommodate the needs of each and every boy and girl. So, uh, you know, I know you'll put the information up, but oh, we yeah, hope yeah. that uh, we'll, we'll have a good crowd again this year. Well, looking forward to it. Once again, everybody, Craig Kelser, like I said, Special K. We're so glad to have him on the show today to talk to us a little bit about the basketball camp that is coming up, like he said, on August 7th and 11th. And uh, you can go to their website at WBCOMED, that's W-B-C-O-M-M-E-D.org, or you can give them a call at 248-981-0498. Greg, thanks again for being here. Thank you, Jonathan. Thanks for watching a segment of The Splash. To catch the entire show or other segments, watch us on Comcast Channel 15 or AT&T Channel 99, or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us on WBLD 89.3, the all-new Blake's FM.